Hey, Rick, I, I call it cap because it takes women six years to answer the question I asked y'all. <laughs> Ricky, what question was that? No disrespect. I, I didn't hear the question. It's not about disrespect. It's about moving the goalposts. I didn't hear the question. I'm not moving anything. I say or non-negotiable then what is the issue and answering queen sheba's question when she was talking about preference i i'm 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 right there on the fence picking in with y'all for preference but the issue is is when the preference blurs with the non-negotiable so and that's what i mean by lying right because you you use the example in terms of a woman that's overweight let's mm -hmm. say for for a man you guys were upfront. You didn't lie. You said you would not date it. So y'all right, were pretty but, open about that. Right. But you know why? Because that is a non-negotiable. And that man is not going to break that. It don't matter what. She could be a great person. But that's a non-negotiable. I'm not dating a woman that's overweight. But I think the difference is with women, oftentimes the non-negotiable and the preference kind of fluctuates. Because the same way they'll say that, and let's say big dude, they got money. Mindset change a little bit. Or, the same thing. It, like or, don't creep or, with a big girl after the no, no, or or let's say that women say, Well, you know, I don't date men who can't make me laugh. And then they meet a celebrity with a blue check who has money, and then all of a sudden making her laugh is not as important. So again, it there, there needs to be a clear distinction between preference and non-negotiable. And oftentimes that 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 goalpost slides a lot with women. And again, I feel like that's more so. The problem, if a man say it's a non-negotiable, it ain't happening. I don't care who it is. So I feel like have that's more what the issue is more so than people just being disappointed with the preference. We disappointed with the fact that you say that's a preference today and you accepted it two weeks from now or two years or two two months from now. That's the issue. I want to go back to something that you and OT, I think it was you and OT that mm -hmm. drilled down on us just to back up the argument. Y'all said, first of all, a woman's not going to really even know a man until six years. It's going to take us six years for you to even get to know who I really am. So can we start there? Y'all don't remember? OT, am I right? Oh, I said that. Six years. Both of y'all. You no, can't like a queen. Oh, that's not right here with you, Queen. Oh, you can't. It takes six years to open up to a woman. You did say six that. Six years. Six years. Six years. I did not say that. Yes, you did. You and OT did. Look how OT did. Y'all got to show me. Yeah, I need to. 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 Okay, right, so, say so, six so by said that logic, then, no, no, so, so by that really logic, then that me. means that that I would say that it would take a man six years to know whether or not he wants to marry a woman. No, six that's years not to what y'all said. I marry. Y'all said it takes six years for a man to let his guard down for a woman to really get to know him. Both of y'all said to that. really trust and get to, and before you show a woman who you really are. So I just want to say that I'm not. I don't want to get stuck there. But I want to say if that argument is true, and we ask y'all, we say, how many men? You said most men. That's Cap. We That's can Cap. go back and look. That's Cap. I got to call Cap. Cap. That, but I'm going to find Cap. it. I, I, because, swear, I have because, nothing to gain from this. Please, I have no, nothing no, to please gain. Do the, I, I don't remember that at all. Oh, that's okay. Because, <laughs> because, it, because it doesn't make sense. Why would I marry a woman that I'm not willing to be vulnerable with? Y'all didn't say marry. We were just talking about, we weren't talking about marriage. Y'all said, we, we, we weren't, who, who do you marry? Y'all said it takes an average of six years for a man to drop his guard, to really let a woman get close to him and know who he is. We weren't talking about if you marry her or not. That's what both of you said. I call I six this lack of recollection. I, I, I call super they cannot even wait to the third day. I don't, I mean, I'm not making it. Yeah, I call this lack of recollection. All I'm saying about that is if that's true, then then is it fair to say that a woman wouldn't really know what she wanted from you if you were a good man, if it takes a man that long to really let his guard down to get close to a woman? But see, again, Queen Sheba, I cannot co-sign that statement because that doesn't sound right. Again, 
you 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 could say that we wasn't talking about marriage, true. But but this is why I wouldn't say something like that because I because I move based on logic, right? So if it takes me six years to open up to a woman properly and to drop my guard and be vulnerable with a woman, then that means that I won't marry her in two, six years. Cause no man is marrying a woman walking down the aisle with a woman that he does not feel comfortable opening up to that. That so, doesn't so make sense. If I sense. pull that up, if I pull that up, cause now y'all are saying I'm making that up and I have a hell Put of a bet on it. Y'all are saying I'm making that out, out the blue. We never had that conversation. Yeah. What happens when we when I go pull because I'm gonna go pull Put it a up. bet on it. So I would just like I, I would just like to wager. I would just like to friendly I, wager. Y'all said, said men don't trust years. women, and That's that it takes a long time for a man to really open to really up and trust, trust a woman. woman. Yeah, friendly yeah. wager. I'm not doubting that we didn't say it may <laughs> take a while, but six years. I don't think I say that. That's, That's a lot. Go Rick. I, I call it cap because it takes women six years to answer the question I asked y'all. <laughs> I didn't hear the question. It's not about disrespect. It's about moving the goalposts. I didn't hear the question. I'm not moving anything. No, no, not you, Kayla. Not you, Kayla. You actually answered it. Oh, I did? Oh. You actually answered it. I was trying to answer it. No, 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 you wasn't. Hold I'm on, hold on. Let me finish because a lot of people jumped on my argument. I said, no, no, what's wrong? I, I said, what's wrong I, with people no, having I'm preference? Not gonna do this to, I'm not going to do this tonight, Queen Sheba. It's not necessary. I'm not hey, trying to fool nobody. What? We're talking. Listen to what I'm do saying. What? We're just talking. That's we're what I'm saying. So, so we ain't got to do this. This is what I'm saying. Do what? what I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. Y'all going all the way around. All I wanted was some input on if we don't, if, if you with this person, if you with this man and he's doing, he has everything that you need, right? Everything that you need. And you saying it's this one particular thing that he doesn't jive with you. Everybody, you know, B. Taylor went out. Well, it's different. I'm not asking for what's different. I'm asking you as a woman, what is it the thing? What is it? What is the thing that's the bottom line for you that would make you say, hey, I want to be with this dude? What is that thing? But it, I'm not going to answer because it doesn't matter because I'm not trying to date nobody on this panel. So it doesn't matter. What do I need to answer that for? Especially when it has something to do with me and it's not a general. I don't need to answer that because I'm not trying to date nobody on this panel to answer that question. I don't see how it's relevant. Please let me know how it's relevant. It's relevant. It's relevant to the conversation because whenever we get into something and we make a point, the goalpost gets moved. I, okay, I'm still confused. I'm not following. And it's okay. It's okay. You're not here to get it. Neither am I. Am I. But my question again is this. Why can't y'all just answer the question? Because when it comes down to me, I can choose what I want to answer. When it's a personal question about me and what I want in my life, I can choose how I want to answer that. That's fine. Okay, so so let so let's speak generally then. Let's let, let's take it off personal. If you if you had to surmise, because y'all are all women, y'all have a decent idea of how women think. I would assume. Decent. What is the general? I, look, I don't I don't I don't want to jump too hard on on assumptions. I just I would assume. Excellent. Let me let me, let me get a, let me get a disclaimer, <laughs> right? I would assume that y'all have a good grasp on how women think. So generally. What is the it factor that just, all right, man, he the one. I said communication earlier. You asked us to name one specific character trait that, that we find valuable in somebody. I said communication. Everybody else said something different. I think, I, are, are we are we going around until we say what y'all are looking for to hear? Or No, the, the, the thing is, we're not necessarily looking for, for an answer, but I, but, but I think the, the reason for the question is, what Ricky mean by the goalpost movement is, again, a lot of women run down a strict lists. Like, say, for instance, hypothetically, if, if we wasn't having, or we was having this conversation on a different day and the, and the topic was different. And I said, hey, man, name five things in a man that are just non-negotiable that just has to happen. I think women are pretty, be pretty able to rattle that off pretty quickly, right? What you say are non-negotiable. Then what is the issue? And answering Queen Sheba's question when she was talking about preference, I I'm 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 right there on the fence picking in with y'all for preference. But the issue is, 
is when the preference blurs with the non-negotiable. So and that's what I mean you... by lying, right? Because you, you use the example in terms of a woman that's overweight, let's mm -hmm. say, for, for a man. You guys were up front. You didn't lie. You said you would not date it. So y'all right, were pretty but, open about that. Right. But you know why? Because that is a non-negotiable. And that man is not going to break that. It don't matter what. She could be a great person. But that's a non-negotiable. I'm not dating a woman that's overweight. 